Well, my name is Tamika, Tamika Bullen. This is my sign name, and it uh, represents how curly my hair is, so that's why my sign name is the way that it is. Um, I, oh, I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, should I start again after that, do you think? <laughs> Probably, eh? <laughs> this is really my second actual production that I'm a part of, so... This particular experience here has been much more challenging on a, a much bigger scale because we've had interpreters, we've had to work in cues into the place so that we know what's going on on stage at any given moment. Um, communication has been so much more uh, emphasized here. So this experience compared to my other sort of theatrical experiences has been very, very different. Um, another actor who's here is missing his arms. Um, and that's really interesting. He actually uses an iPad for communication and and what I found is when we want to communicate, the two of us, um, often he'll type onto the iPad and also use his voice. So he has voice to text on his iPad. So he'll speak to it, the message will come up. Sometimes he types either. Um, but again, technology is sort of helped us in that sense, so I'm able to read what he's saying and respond, and we just go back and forth on the tablet. So it's very cool to see he just speaks and it comes up on the screen, so it's a really interesting experience for me. So there's sometimes when you're talking to her, you're like this or, or like this, and we have to figure out a way that for you to cheat, it's okay to cheat it forward so that everyone sees it. Well, for this particular play, I definitely feel included. I mean, interpreters have been hired throughout the whole process, um, and the actors I'm working with are so supportive. We're all so supportive of each other. It's been quite a great experience. Um, so we're all trying to support each other and make sure that everyone's accommodated to the best of our ability to make sure that the play goes smoothly. Um, the, the writer and our director, Judith, is she's brilliant. Um, she's very curious about all of our experiences. She wants to know about you know what what we faced growing up. She asks a lot of questions about our experiences and our lives, and she's taken our ideas and really built them into the script. So that is incredible. That is really nice to see. And I think too, it's really important that people take away the fact that deaf people have a culture. They have a language. It is not English. It is its own language. We are very proud of our language and our culture. That, you know, that's the heart of what we are. It's a very unique language and it's ours. The opportunities are incredible, and I mean, the nice thing about this play is you can see that we all can work together. You know, we can all do this. We've built in cues, we've built in certain things to let all of us know what's happening on stage, and it flows really smoothly because of that. A cue might be just a, you know, a tap on someone's leg or a certain gesture that lets us know that now it's your turn, that sort of thing. Um, so I think that's really important about this play. It really shows people in society that we are deaf, yes, but we can work with other people, whether they're hearing or deaf, whether they have disabilities or not. We can all work together and create something beautiful.
Well, it'd be really nice if everyone knew sign language and communication could just happen freely. Um, or even just, you know, when I'm talking about the one actor who is missing his arms, to have the communication that could just, I don't know, have a telepathic skill developed so that I can sign and he can understand and then he can think back to me and I can just read his thoughts and we could just have that seamless communication. Overall, just seamless communication would be fantastic.